about this? I'm on my way to the pole, and right in front of me, the guy's got two polars, and they're red. So there we go. Got a preview on the way to do the preview. All right, they're getting the track ready, and boy, did they wet it down. I was surprised even after the rain we got today, they completely soaked it, but they got the road grader on it, and they got this thing here with the four tires on the front and a lot of weight in the middle, but uh, quite a few tractors. You can see a bunch of them parked up there on the hillside, and uh, then we come over here, and uh, there's a slew of them there. I'm not going to walk through all of them. All I can tell you is there is a consortium of colors here today. Uh, Oliver, Case, Massey, Farmall, John Deere, um, <coughs> Aulis Chalmers, that's right. Two Aulis Chalmers that uh, look like they were at the Wattsburg pull and they did pretty good so we'll probably get to see them pull today. Uh, no guarantees. I do have to pull the plug on these videos after a while. I mean, 40, 50 minutes of pulls, and and I think most people have had their fill, but there's an H right up close to us. Hopefully, they start uh, smallest and go biggest. Unlike the Stoneboro Fair, they went they went biggest down, and, uh, you know, I ran out, of, ran out of battery, ran out of juice, but, yeah, people are starting to come in. Pulls start here in, I think, about an hour. They're getting, uh, they're weighing in up there. You can see them lining up. So yeah, next time I turn this on, we'll be polling. All right, I was just informed. They're gonna start heaviest to lightest. So for 100% certainty, I will be missing the 2,500 pound pull tonight because, and yeah, I say tonight because it's probably gonna be about 11 o'clock. I'll be staring at the back of my eyelids, but uh, slow and steady, winning the race. He's in the uh, other lane, and then uh, looks like a John Deere is going to start in this lane here, so yeah. See that farm all? He's a thunderous farm all coming down the lane there. And tires on the rear look kind of thin to me. Yeah, he's spinning. No rear wheel weights on that, but there he goes. We'll shift right over to the Johnny Popper. And I don't know what that is. 138.1. Okay, so that first pull, 138 feet. One inch. Yeah, again, they're announcing the... Uh, Polar. They're not telling you what tractor. We'll get a. I'll come off of that John Deere and we'll get to see this farm all here. And, uh, okay, that was an H. Definitely an H. And uh, okay. Boy, that John Deere he just pop, pop, pop. Some people say, "Oh, you need to be nice with a John Deere." Well, you do realize this is a red channel, right? I mean, you recognize that when you read Farm All Fanatic on the name. I'm not all bought into the hoopla that modern day John Deere equipment is any good at all. I think it's all junk, deaf, emissions, computer, plastic. Changed my mind. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just button. And I don't know if that's a, could that be a John Deere 80? I think it could be. It's going the same speed right now as he did when he took off. So this is most definitely a case in point where slow and steady could win the race. That's got to be at least 150 feet where he's at. being the first two polars I have no idea what a good pole here is yet so it takes you know 
good three, four poles to even figure anything out. Yeah. Oh, check out that chimney. Old tree huggers love that, don't they? Yep. Up in the front end, he's still down though. The front tires are still touching. But uh, not enough to where I'd be afraid to put my hand under those steers. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily absolutely want to, but yes, and indeed that is a John Deere 80. And he's bouncing a little bit, but boy, is he falling. I, I gotta admit, I'm surprised. He's coming right up here. Well, tonight we're going Farmall versus John Deere because I guarantee there's going to be a farm all that pulls against him. Up in the front we go. He's done right there. Red flag. He's out. He's going to back up and get disconnected. Well, you can see we're going to call this the east lane because that is actually east. And in the west lane, I can't tell if that's the Penn State tractor that we saw pull over in Wattsburg or not. But didn't have a very good pull over there. It seemed like it had a fuel issue. And uh, they've certainly had a couple weeks to rectify that. Should be an easy thing to do. So we got a John Deere coming down the Delaware. I don't know what that is, if it's an 820, a 720. We're about to find out though, because he's it's just the way the John Deere's pull, slow and steady, and they don't stop, they just keep going. So it must be they put him in first gear and go. I think that's what I'd do if I brought the M over, just pop it first and go. Where it stopped, don't know one no. And I'm Farmall Fanatic. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I can't remember the exact percentage, but it's like 89% of the viewers are not subscribed, so that's a problem, and that front end is most definitely up. Talk about putting my hand under the steers, I'd put my whole body under there. It'd be quite all right. Until the drive's got to me. Yeah, down it goes. Yeah. I don't know, is that C 830? We'll catch him when he drives by. Definitely didn't beat the 80 anyways. Well, he just said he was the winner of that class, so. Must have beat him by an inch. Oh no, three feet. Yeah, that's an 830 diesel. All right. Well, we just missed the uh, Penn State all pull, but he had a lot better pull this time than he did over there at Wattsburg, so that's a good deal. Always root for an H. this west lane east lane I should say we got another John Deere coming down the Delaware and um, got that front end down he's slow and steady like they pulled but boy is he done yeah he's done that's gonna be a last in the class I don't know what it is we'll catch it as he drives by here he's disconnected now not a good pull not gonna try to sugarcoat it, you know. Bad pulls, bad pull, good pulls, good pull. Just like the old days. Nobody got a participation trophy. You either won and got one or you lost and didn't. So let's see, we got a row crop, seven, 730 diesel, okay. You saw an 830 and a 730, there you go. Yeah, you see over there that Massey Harris over there in that west lane. And uh, it, it, I'm not sure if that's, they went up a weight class from the, the, the Blue Pen State All H or what? Uh, yeah. yeah, that was it. I was going to say that's a good pull. That was a good pull, real good pull. In fact, that's the furthest I've seen in that lane. Catch him going by, see what he's got. Is that a senior? 101, yep. Well, it's 
been all green so far and uh, no exception here. He's even got a green hat. See, I would expect a farm all hat with a guy driving a John Deere, but he's potting along, getting it. I've kind of got a feel for how far they need to make it to have a good pole to be within, you know, two, three feet of that winning pole. And so I think it was at 30. try to catch that red power in the west lane but it doesn't look like the Zambonis are gonna let me so we'll see what this oh I don't know 720 again is that what that is can do here 730 that's got bigger steers on the front maybe a little extra weight too I, I don't know I try not to know too much about green <laughs> okay now no, that that ain't gonna match that last one. Still a good pull though, from what I've seen. All right, there's Nick Brace on a John Deere. I'm gonna tell you maybe an R. And uh, he pulled at Wattsburg, and I didn't realize that was him. Well, it turns out it was him, and I said it was his twin. It looked so much like him. It actually, looked so much like him, it was him. So here he is pulling. Let's see what he does here. Not sure what that bang was behind me, but I hear it again, I'm gonna look. He's down in the front end, so that's always a good sign. He's kind of swerving to miss maybe a bad spot, I don't know. He had a good pull at Wattsburg, so. Yep, spin to win, and he's sidewinding, but it don't matter. Oh, he's getting good, good distance. And then just like that, out of nowhere, he stopped. But uh, that was most definitely a decent pull. Now, you saw that husband and wife team, that cockshot team, pull in uh, Wattsburg. Well, this is the wife portion of the team, and she's pulling like a, well, like a madman. She's spinning and getting it and bouncing it in the front like a basketball, but I haven't seen anything pull like that, so. Yeah, good luck beating that. The old Cockshut 30. And somebody corrected me and said that Cockshut is not a Canadian Oliver, that in fact Oliver bought them, so I don't know. If I really cared, I'd find out the truth, but I can prove it to you that that was a win and pull. Well, finally in this east lane, we got some red power. And uh, sounds distinctly different. As in four cylinders, and he's just thumping along, getting it. He's not really stopping the right there. Go on. Stop. He's not, Stop. Uh, he's not right. light in the right. front end Stop. at all. Stop. Stop. Yeah, super MTA. He just went back on the M on the TA, and uh, 
his first pull so he gets the option of pulling again so and he definitely will well look what the cat drug in that spin outs with Bob and uh, we'll see what the 560 does here that's a gas 560 narrow front WD. The orange pumpkin heads will know. It seems like a pretty well run pole. They're going through the tractors pretty quick. So, yeah, he's done right there. 203 and 3 for Chris. 203 and 3. 203 feet. Well, there he goes, a WD 45. Alright, we got a super MT. Coming down the pipe, wide front, Schwartz front end on it. He's got the wheel weights. Looks like he stacked them up pretty good. At least, at least two. Or... Oh yeah, those are stacked up pretty good. He hasn't pulled back the TA yet. He's going at a pretty good clip right now. You can hear the thunder coming out of that chimney. And uh, well. There he goes right there. He waited till the end to pull it back. See, I think that's a mistake. I think from what I've seen, if you pull it before you die, I think you're better off. You get something out of it, but still a pretty good pull. Well, we're finally going to catch that west lane in full. And uh, you can see the red power right there, and that's what it is. You can see the letter on the side, so I don't need to tell you that. but. Boy, it sounds good. He's not lighting that front end. He's just going. He's got to be in second here. Looks like that 90 that pulled over in Wattsburg. I think you guys said this was what a super 90? He's a pulling. It had a good pull in Wattsburg too, so they did a really nice job on this track. They took their time. Some of the stuff they were doing I didn't understand, but yeah, he's, he's done right there, so. Decent pull. Here we go, we got a Massey Harris, and they were using this tractor to calibrate the sled early, and uh, I don't know if 
they got a speed limit here or not, but wouldn't surprise me if they don't as fast as he's going and getting it. Right, that's, he's just, he's going, going a good clip. Faster than you could walk, that's for sure. And that's going to end up being a full pull. Yep, Massey Harris 101 Senior. And uh, uh, really pretty close to that cockshut 30, so I don't know. Well, here we go on a re -pull. He didn't like his first pull, and he was the first puller in that class, so he's doing it over. Getting a second chance at the title. And uh, I'd pull that TA back right now while I got my speed going. In the field, if I'm working out in the field, plowing or pulling disc or whatever, and I feel like if I start to go up a hill and I start to lose any power at all, I give it to it. And you just don't lose stride, but he's bouncing, he's up in the air. And uh, still kind of going. 280 even. He did do better, I think. He beat his. Uh, First pole by four feet. We got red power in the west lane. And uh, man, he's got a stack on that thing a mile high. It's like the Tower of Babel. But that's not Babel coming out of that tower right there. That's the language of power, folks. And I'll tell you what, for a straight H, that thing is a manimal. Got a man on top and an animal underneath. And it's going. A little light in the front end. Yeah, he's going. Spinning now, still moving, still spinning. He's done. Red flag right there. Good pull. That tracker. It's not going to beat the Massey, but good pull. And I caught this red power late. It looks like a regular M. Just slow and steady wins a race, probably first gear. Kind of reminds me of uh, John Deere pull, but as long as he can keep that pace, he'll, he'll be fine. Got the front wheel weights. Definitely looking for a set of front wheel weights for my Super C I just bought. Yeah, he just, he's up right there in the front end. up and he's still rolling. He's got good sized skins on there. Looks like maybe 16 938s. Oh, he's, he's, he's still moving. Moving at a good clip too. Honestly for an M, that's, that's a real good pull. Good looking M too. He's got the fenders on there. Pulling in the 7,500 pound weight class. We got what I believe to be a cock shot 50, and that's that Huntington and White team. And this is his first pull, so we'll see how he does. This tractor pulls really well. Uh, you saw in the last video the Wattsburg, not the last one, but the Wattsburg fair pull. Uh, the White pulled this. I'm not sure what weight, but she won that class, so. It's a force to be reckoned with in this weight class. He's rocking steady. Front end's not up yet. He's just going out of clip. I don't know what's that probably second gear. different age. 
pulling really well. Got double wheel weights in the rear. He's down in the front end. It's a narrow front end. somebody fired up but that's a 77 there and he's, he's pulling, pulling pretty good he's up against that H though so I wish him luck
evening we got our first Minneapolis Moline and we saw a really good pull out of Greg Fuller in Wasburg and uh, just about drove right out of the gate with it so here you go we'll just dedicate this to Greg Fuller now this Vinny, he's up in here, he's sidelining a little bit, but boy, he's still moving at a good clip. Up and all that, uh, all the weight of the tractors on the rear end, and that's going to be it right there. Good pull. Yeah, oh, there you go. Minneapolis Moline G Propane. Back to back Minneapolis Molines. And uh, it looks a lot like what Greg Fuller pulled at a distance. But uh, sounds good. He's moving at a good clip, too. If there is a speed limit, I can't, hate to keep harping on it, but he's right at the upper limit. And again, I haven't as much as heard a horn tonight, so... second gear. These guys know their tractors better than anyone. He's going at a pretty good clip there. He's uh, down in the front end. No front wheel weights. Oh, he's still moving along real well. As in really well. <laughs> Like we saw that one inch pull, that moves like water, and so is this one. Man. Oh, he's got it wheeled down to look like an age. Tiny little skins on there, looks like maybe 13, 6, 38. I wondered why. I was like, boy, that thing's pulling like that other eight, but he still did not out pull the one eight. So, yeah. And we're going to go back over here. We got more red power. That's a 560. Might be a 460, but I'm going to go with a 560 until further notice. He's getting it done. He's just rocking steady. It's like he's got one set of front weights on there. No wheel weights. Now well, he's spinning. That's, well, that's going to be it for him right there. All right, folks, it's getting late. It's getting cold. And I'm old. I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Always auctions, always polls. It's what we do in the fall, man. Thanks for subscribing.